Judge died. Yeah. Poor Cuddy. <laughs> Just think, if we do the second part of this tomorrow, we'll be better because we had the giggles out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This was just our first time actually recording as a group. I know. Oh, Chris is, Chris is dying. <laughs> I just heard it. No, what? Yeah. Hold on. Ah. There's still a cat in the courtroom. Everyone play with the cat. <laughs> I can actually imagine that being started like, wait! There's a cat here. There's a cat here. <laughs> I should take a. I should probably. I should probably take over the judge before this takes too long. I know. Should we have Sean? Yeah. Connery. Oh, all right. Okay, okay he's back. back. Okay. <coughs> I had a disconnection mishap. It's fine. So we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? <clears throat> it's time for you to shut the fuck up. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Very accurate timing. It, 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 it's 11.25. As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy between that Mr. Saw and what Mr. Saw heard it and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Saw it, try to talk your way out of this one. <laughs> you forgot to wood the thing. Uh oh. What's he talking about now? Well, it may seem like the clock is running is three hours slow. It proves nothing. How do you know it's running three hours slow on the day of the murder? If you can't prove it, you don't have a case. If he's right, I'm not gonna prove that. Damn it! I was so close. Yes, ranch corn nuts. I mean, right. <laughs> 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 it seems you lack oh the critical evidence to support your claim. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. I'm so sorry, Zach. <laughs> I am so sorry, future me. <laughs> this means I story? cannot let you indict yeah. the witness. That's how you say it? Yeah, it's indict. Oh. oh. Unfortunately. Indirectly, yes. Indirectly, yes. Chris died. Why does the judge keep dying? Old age is catching up to him. Old age is catching up to him really fast. I mean, how old is he? Like 60? <laughs> I just, I can't imagine, like, Chris is gonna read the line of, where are we, where, who, where are we going? Whose car, who's driving where? <laughs> Whose car are we taking? <laughs> this ends the cross-examination of Mr. Frank Sawit. Sean Connery's back. <laughs> he came out of the to just fine. Look what happens. You treat me like a criminal. A criminal. You know you're so a slime. Ah. <sighs> I almost had him. Sorry, Larry. I failed you. There's nothing I can do now. Not so fast, Mr. Sh 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 Mr. Schwit. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Schwit. Mr. Schwit. Mr. Schwit. Mia, I mean, Chief. Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. But Chief, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking outside the box. <laughs> Don't waste time doubting the facts. Assume the clock, assume the clock was three hours slow and think it, it through. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason and you'll have your proof. Right, right? Yes, yes, my yes, yes, my name is a pun. <laughs> Can you <laughs> 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 
Can you think of a reason as to why the clock would be three hours slow? Maybe. Yeah. Wait, maybe I could prove it. You must have the evidence somewhere, somewhere that can prove it, right? Find it and let him have it. Well, Mr. Wright. Okay, I'm gonna go. Connor, go back to your corner. It's a way shit. Okay, I'll do it. Just you say the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. Okay. Have you found okay, evidence to support this claim? Of course. There's a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. Huh! <laughs> Different! I see you put this one off. Shut up, Jenkins. Let's see this evidence that proves why the clock was running slow. It's his passport. It's totally the badge! He came... She just came from Paris. Yeah. Oh, yeah! And she probably... And be, Paris probably, is a three-hour difference. No. No, it's not. It's actually an oh. eight-hour difference. Like, yeah. Chris, Chris, remember? Uh... Uh, well... It, uh, it's six hours ahead of me with the UK time. Paris is, in a, is, a two hour, is two hours away from the UK, so at the eight. So where'd the extra oh. hour come from? Well, I, well, it's 11, and it says it's 8. So that's 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah. It also says, I think it's 8 p.m. Yeah, so it's that's a that's actually a 9-hour difference. Huh. Or 8 hours, whichever one. The victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between there and Paris is nine hours. Yep, yeah, okay, nine hours, I was right. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't three hours slow, it was nine hours fast. The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard when you saw when you struck her dead in an apartment was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Saw It? Or should I say, Mr. Did It? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he must have had a lot of root beer last yeah, night. He gained rabies and then died. <laughs> order! Order, I say! Mr. Solid had rabies. <laughs> I, I would Ruben. too if I, if I had so much root beer. <clears throat> well, this case has certainly turned out differently than we all expected. Mr. Payne, your witness. Receiving very many painful rabies shots, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> he er, was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. <laughs> very well. Mr. Wright? Yes, yes, Your Honor. I have to say, I'm impressed. Oh, um, I don't think <laughs> I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly. The judge had a bit of a lapse. <laughs> also, by the way, <clears throat> this will never happen again. No, uh, it will not. I'll, I'll try to make sure to do it in a more secure location. No, as in, like, this will never happen again, finishing a case in one sitting. This will never we're happen. Not, we're not saying the recording part, we're saying, uh in the actual game. And find the true culprit at the same time, Hashtag Garden. Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but this court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Buttcheeks. All together now. Not guilty. Not guilty. guilty. Yay, confetti. Yay. <laughs> Chocolate rock candy. And now, the janitor has to clean all and this up. <laughs> This court is a jerk. God damn it, janitor. I'm a rookie. It turns out that Frank saw it was a common burglar. He posts as a newspaper salesman to check and see when people are out of the house. That day. But you don't have. You didn't have ten dollars exactly, though. Tell me about it. <laughs> when Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Saw it let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned, and she was very angry. I mean, I mean look at that. 
Her eyes are also missing. Yeah. Flustered, Mr. Slava grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. And then all that ketchup. And then more ketchup. <laughs> August 3rd, 2.32 p.m. Just a court. Defendant lobby number two. We completed this case in a third of what they... In a third of the time of what happened <laughs> throughout the entire trial. Because we started at, <laughs> we started at 11. It's now 2.32. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, this will never happen again. It will never be done in one day. Yeah. Whew, I still can't believe we won. Right, good job in there. Congratulations. Th thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. Not at all, not at all. You fought with your own bottle, your own battles in there. Fought your own bottles. It's been a... <laughs> <laughs> It's been a while since I've seen a trial in on such a satisfying note. I've never seen the chief looking this happy. If she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> we need Larry. My life is over. <laughs> Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? Aww. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'll be dead in God's. Oh. Good. Wait. No. I mean, bad. 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 Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. But, but my Cindy. Oh my God, guy. I'm gone forever. Larry, she was a. Nah. I suppose you like chicken. Yeah, I forgot that she was like that. Congratulations, Harry. Harry butts. <laughs> <laughs> Harry. Yes, you. I could. I could practically see the headlines now. Harry butts. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Chris has died. I'm done right now. <laughs> I'm done. And his expression, look at it. He's so happy to be called Harry Butts. <laughs> and his face is... I'm really liking that sleeve, though. <laughs> hey, um, thanks. I really owe you. I won't forget this ever. Let's celebrate dinner, movie, my treat. Oh, no, I couldn't. Hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. Oh, hey! Here, take this. That's a present. Present? For me? Wait, wasn't this the, wasn't this the evidence that... Actually, I made this clock for her. I made one for her and one for me. Really? You? You made this? Well, thank you. I'll keep it as a Nice chicken. I mean, <clears throat> yo, Nick. Can you believe it? I was so into that chicken. And I see what she's playing me like a fool. I don't, don't that make you just want to cry? Mary. Are you so sure? Excuse me? I, think I mean, my name is Harry Butts all of a sudden, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think she thought quite a lot about you, in her own way. In her own way. Nah, you don't gotta sympathize with me, okay? Oh, I'm not just, I'm not just sympathizing, really. Isn't that right? Right. Don't you have something to show your friend? Something that proves how she how she felt about him? Uh, oh yeah, right. What the heck is she talking about? It's a statue. Check this out, Larry. Proof positive you weren't just some <laughs> chump to her. Huh? What about that clock? This is the clock you made for her, Larry. And she took it with her when she traveled. Whatever. She probably just needed a clock, that's all. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. Well, make of it what you will. Hey, Nick?
I'm glad I asked you to beat my... Wow. Flag. <laughs> I thought you said beat my... I'm so glad I asked you to beat my lawyer. <laughs> he was beaten to submission. That's why Phoenix took his place. <laughs> it was literally... It, the screen literally stopped after he says, I'm really glad you get to something. <laughs> On the couch? Really? I am. Thanks. <laughs> it it's, it's haunting me, I swear. No! Hmm. Now, what a waste of pain. Why? Sorry. He was supposed to read his lines. <laughs> I already did! He did. Uh, I didn't hear him. <laughs> Hope that made him feel a little better. Right. I hope you see the importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully, hopefully you'll realize things change depend depending on how the, how you look at them. People too. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. Ugh. Stop it, kitty! <laughs> All we could do is believe in them. Cat, get back in the courtroom! <laughs> in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Right? Listen, learn, grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Never let go! Never let go! Well, I think our work is work here is done. Shall we be off? Yeah, I guess so. Say, how about a dinner? How about Kid? a mummy? <laughs> we'll drink a toast to innocent, innocent butts. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Can I have a drink too? <laughs> yeah. Harry, no. <laughs> oh, speaking of Harry. Yes. You were saying. You were saying part of why he, why you became a lawyer was because of him. Uh, yeah, part at least. You'll have to tell me about it some, about it. You'll have to tell me more about it sometime. Maybe over drinks. Burgers. <laughs> burger. So my first trial came to a close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, "Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends." But I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay us. Unless you count the clock he gave me, uh. I didn't know it, then. But that clock was soon going to be at, at the center of another incident. My promise to the chief about me and Larry would be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. Just, uh, I didn't say anything! I didn't say much at all this part! <laughs> Don't worry, your importance will come in, in the next trial. Yay! What? A brand new episode, I think. Adam. <laughs> They put plenty of garlic on here. That was... oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> okay, if you go back to the preview, if you look at the episode, uh, when you oh, his it, face. You, actually get, you actually get a nice little screen cap. Um, Solid's I don't know how to feel like, about his face. Solid's face looks like, it's rape time! <laughs> it's rape time! <laughs> Well, petting the homeless oh woman God. in the background, yeah, apparently that's what happened when he came through that door. What? <laughs> I'm just making a joke, man. Anyway, we'll see. Oh, you're the anyway, one that said it. We'll see you all next time for episode two, Tune About Sisters. Four, we're going to have four of us falling apart. Yeah. Why, what's this one? <laughs>